And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Spider Lux. That's right, we're going to be replaying this deck. This is definitely my kind of deck. We got our Mage Seekers, we got our Shadow Isles for some spookiness, and of course we have Lux at the top end. So we have, uh, you know, we have a deck that's going to be focused around Remembrance, but then also Brood Awakening. We have these two cards that we're going to be playing on turn three quite a bit that enable our Mage Seekers, then our Mage Seeker Persuaders will be 4-3 Challengers. We're only just going with just those and then one Mage Seeker Investigator, so we're not going too hard into the Mage Seeker stuff. But we can also you know, have our different Spiderlings with Elise, and it's nice having all these Spiderlings with either Elise, Vile Feast, Brood Awakening, because whenever our Spiderlings die, which will be quite often, that really helps our Radiant Guardian um, you know, be able to have the lifesteal and tough. This is something that these kind of decks can, we can definitely struggle having Radiant Guardian have the lifesteal and tough because we don't have the bodies to die, but these spiders give that to us. Kind of the same with Grizzled Ranger. Grizzled Ranger also does that as well. But then our top end is all about Lux. It's about Rekindler bringing Lux back um, and Unyielding Spirit for Lux. We definitely want to use Unyielding Spirit on Lux. That's where uh, really what our, our deck's about, or maybe Unyielding Spirit on Radiant Guardian as well. All right, so let's give this deck a try. We got two Purifies in here because of all the They Who Endure running around these days. Purify is such a great answer to They Who Endure. Turn that, you know, 15-15 into a little 1-1. One, one. Well, this is not a Purify matchup. <laughs> so let's Mulligan Purify if we find it. Okay. I mean, I do like Lux and then Rekindler to bring Lux back, but we don't really need that in our opener. I'm, I'm going to just keep the Lux, just, just because Lux is so strong. But we're definitely looking for our six mana spells. Really either one, not the six mana units. There we go. The Remembrance would certainly be better. It's easy for my opponent to deal with... Okay, there we go. To deal with just a bunch of... Uh, two ones. But I'm going to lead with Brood Awakening. Yeah, we just we just did talk about those those new cards revealed today. Uh, they look good. Was it? I always I already forgot his name. What Trundle? Trundle the name? Trundle definitely looked good. Wouldn't it be too surprised of like Twisted Fate red card? Okay, that's definitely what they have with them taking this. So my remembrance will cost three mana. Deal me in. Or I could single combat, but then they could just use removal in response to single combat. Let's let's just play three mana remembrance. That's an early pick of cards. They're gonna have five mana next turn and they'll have their three spells. I hope they draw like two Riptide Rexes. <laughs> Maybe three, just give them three Riptide Rex. Go ahead, you can have you can have them all next turn. I hope that's what it was, it was Rex, Rex, Rex. Here. I just go back up to 20. See, so yeah, I'm passing turn because they have three fleeting cards in hand. They got to do stuff. Ah, they're going for the nab cards. Alright, well, they're. Twisted Fate is at.
Six. We definitely want to get rid of that before it levels up. Unfortunately, they were able to use all of their cards with that urchin replacing. So I can like Vile Feast this thing and attack with my Grizzled Ranger and then afterwards play a Persuader they can challenge. I think I just want to get Lux in play. No Riptide Rex yet, thankfully. Cool. Rekindler's not bad. Um, so that, what, challenges Lux? So I don't really want to pass back because they may just have me waste all my mana and they may not they might just not attack. We'll save Demacia from magic. And Demacia doesn't need saving. Hey, Vaza. You have no alibi. Protect Demacia. Hmm. Kind of awkward. I wish we had Unyielding Spirit. Wish we had Unyielding Spirit. They do go. If they do go. Um, Riptide Rex. Then I think I just play my new Lux. Yeah, you don't want to class me. Okay. I fight for the fallen. Not Riptide Rex. Success gets you noticed around here. So I think they only have one card of mine left. I think the Pilfer Goods took two, and then they played those two.
Yeah, I just got done talking about the the new cards a little bit ago. Um, so I spent no mana as far as leveling up Lux. I wouldn't have played Withering Whale. And unfortunately, we have just so many good cards as far as nabbing is concerned. We have so many good cards in our deck. One candle for every soul. One thing that Behold has going for it is that some of the very best cards are 8 mana cards. Alright, like your Unyielding Spirit, your Riptide Rex, your Leviathan. Cards like that. Our best draw is Unyielding Spirit. Got another pilfer goods. Basically playing this for two. Uh, stole my vengeance. It's for one final spark. Definitely really good cards they can nab. cards they can have. So Ezreal is at 5 right now. My plan is to vengeance this Radiant Guardian. Awesome. That just worked out, so this puts them down to 3. 
So maybe kills them? Because they were just relying on gaining that 5 life. That's what I was wondering if we were going to be able to uh, get that with them. They were, they were relying on gaining that 5 life with their blocks. They did not gain that 5 life. And now we got the final spark. GG's. If that was one reason to just not to not just to play you know, not just like play vengeance first and then attack. Because they block it in such a manner that they're thinking they're gonna be gaining five life, and then suddenly, boom, they're not gaining five life. Awesome. Yeah, it's super hard to level up Thresh with Lux Thresh. Um, Twisted Fate Gangplank. Is this like our Plunder Controller we're playing later on? Maybe in the case we don't really need Purify. Um, I'm gonna keep the Radiant Guardian. Look for our six mana spells. Yuck. Yuck. I don't want Radiant Guardian that much. Be nothing left when I'm done. Mm. This'll send them running. So I want to be able to play the six man spell if we would draw one. Which we did not. I wish we'd be able to play Radiant Guardian the next turn. Yeah, I mean, we may have to play Radiant Guardian as a 5-5. Yeah, that's that's a great draw, this Brood Awakening. Perfect. Perfect draw. Turns these all into two ones. Gets us a lot of bodies for Radiant Guardian. Enable the Mage Seeker Persuader. Perfect draw. Probably just Ooh, I was gonna say they're gonna make it rain, but I guess their their plan is twisted fate. Okay, they just wanted that to clear up before make it rain. No blocks, taking all that damage. Virtue guides me. Don't ask where it's from. Gross. I don't like my cards getting nabbed. Suppose you want in on this. I suppose I should leave you be. Safety will cost you. Let the light guide you. I don't like my cards getting nabbed. <laughs> Lulu is definitely not terrible. I think Lulu is Get pretty decent. Prize. Interesting attack. What do they have here? Shine with me. Mm. You won't get away with this. 
They stole one of my purifies. So if I play Brood Awakening, it would level up Lux, but they could just have like a gotcha or a get excited to kill Lux. If they're willing just to throw the Mystic Shot at it last turn. I could do the attacking, let them trade Lux for Jagged Butcher, play 5-5 five, five Radiant, you know, play the the play the unlocked Radiant Guardian. Next turn, play Rekindler and bring Lux back. I'm kind of leaning towards that direction. Yeah, I'm leaning towards that direction, because that, that direction probably, you know, maybe does 5 damage to them also. We'll see, unless they have, like, that removal spell that they would have used on Lux they use over here. Nab cards. Stow the rations, shackle the prisoners. I fight for the fallen. Definitely could have played Brood Awakening that, you know, then. But again, I just like how Radiant Guardian is enabled right now. All right, GGS. All right, Rank Up Sunday is going really well so far. We are 2-0 and here after going 4-1. and one. No, I haven't, Vaza. No. All right, so this version is playing Elise with Callista. We've been playing against a bunch of Sejuani and Callista today, which has looked kind of interesting. Um, I kind of like this hand... We definitely want Purify in this matchup. Maybe a Mulligan Lux. Radiant Guardian, also a good one for this matchup. We can lead with the Spiderlings, kind of like what we did before. Like, turn three, play Spiderlings. Turn four, our three Spiderlings die. And so that then we Remembrance. And then... Uh, uh, Radiant Guardian afterwards. My four. Okay, I'm gonna go Remembrance against five four. About to be six five. Oh no, is that good? Is that good? Turn three, have a six five leveled up Callisto. Probably gonna have to single combat that thing. Mm -hmm. 
For now, this Bark Beast will be a 4 4. Good news, they don't have a ton of cards. They have two more Omen Hawk plus one plus ones. I'm really glad they attacked. Justice will be served. I was like, what if they don't attack? Mm. Strike for justice. <laughs> their name doesn't their name doesn't uh, seem to fit their game here <laughs> never ever lucky I don't bite everyone's a garden sure exactly what I want to do. We'll see, because, I mean, I want to have leveled up Callist, or I want to have leveled up Elise. Come, come this way. It will all be over soon. There are two cards left. I'm keeping... I could have blocked the 1-1. One, one. We would have taken the same amount of damage. They would have just uh, gained the one life, which they're at 20 anyways. They can't gain the, the life. All right, that's fine. But I wanted to have the three health on Elise. So I get to challenge Neverglade Collector. Oh, come on. All right, well, we should still be fine. So basically, I don't want to use Vengeance because I want to save Vengeance for uh, uh, for They Who Endure because They Who Endure is going to be like the only thing that kills us, right? Like, Neverglade Collector, I think we can handle with Radiant Guardians. I think we're good there. You will be scoured from this land. So I think we'll be fine against Neverglade Collector. Oh, Callista. Do we need to Vengeance Callista? And we sure could. Trunks! Thank you, Trunks. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Our third sub today. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna be really sad if they have if they have they who endure, right? Like if they just top deck they who endure. I'm gonna be pretty sad.
Oh my gosh, I had, I had the other Radiant Guardian enabled. I was just so focused on, on doing this because I didn't, you know, I forgot that they were actually going to attack. Yeah, I, did, I just didn't imagine that they were actually attacking. <clears throat> so I actually had that They Who Endure enabled. Or the, the Radiant Guardian enabled. What am I saying? Okay. Justice will be served! All right, let's look for answers to they who endure. We want purify, vengeance. Single combat's not bad. I know what lurks in the shadows. We shall pierce their treasonous us. Hmm. We can do this. Okay. So we're going to block here. We ignore that thing. We're going to single combat here and here, and we're going to vile feast there. And so they're going to be left with just one Neverglade Collector to block with. A tribute to the Spider God. Okay. Let's see. I guess I could have. I guess I could have uh, made that a little bit better if I would have had my barrier block the Callista and then fight the 3 2. I, I didn't need to take as much damage on that thing, but we're fine. That wasn't so bad now, was it? Three and O oh with Spider Lux. That was a good win. They had They had some good stuff going on there. That was a good win. Yeah, this deck's pretty sweet. This deck's pretty sweet. All right, the exact same matchup. We'll see how it goes. Um, all these cards are good, but I want these cards later. I may just keep Vengeance. I don't know. All, like, those cards are all good, but again, they're all for later. There we go. We want Remembrance. Withering Whale is nice. Purify, definitely really nice. Yeah, Trundle looks really strong. That looks like just a really good, efficient champion. Maybe not like Sejuani good, but definitely good. You won't suffer long. Okay, so we're going to... Lux? Um, well, we have we have a lot of... You know, just a lot of spells and some 6 plus cost spells. Um, and our... Like, a really powerful thing is Lux with Unyielding Spear. That's definitely a big, big part of our deck. Gosh. 
Wow, so they had triple Elise? Certainly wish I could have Withering Whale right now. But we can't. This is me going down to five. This is me going down to nine. I could... Could purify the Bark Beast, but that's only just gaining two life. Probably not worth it. Challenge the 3-3 and then play Remembrance? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. My cause is to justice. I like having Withering Whale on my defensive turn. Ninja. Friend Mike, thank you, Mike. Thanks for that resub. Our fourth one of the day. Man, I wish I had one more mana. I wish I could purify that Cursed Keeper. Also, so I have to Withering Whale. If I Withering Whale now or later, I guess it's really the same. So like a one one's gonna challenge the five five. It's me taking seven and gaining three. And either way that I did it, I'd take seven and gain three. Cause if I if I did it during their combat, then I'd I'd have this to block like the four three. I liked it better whenever we had Radiant Guardians. So next turn I have 11 mana. So I have both of these available. They have another They Who Endure. We have Detain. If they go straight to combat, we would block the Elise and Withering Whale.
Oh, all right, so I want to keep them from drawing two cards, but the problem with doing this is that if, if they do have another They Who Endure, then they just win, because then I only have five mana and I can't, I can't kill They Who Endure. So I guess I have to let them draw two. It's kind of rough. See the Demacian border from here. We, we shall not rest until all betrayers aid. All right, kill that thing. Trade a lease. I'm fine with that. Nope, guess not. Time to get rowdy. Oh no, they get to draw a card. Uh, I don't like them drawing cards. Tough call. What to do? How am I getting nine points across? Ready the torches. Light the signal fire. Yeah, Trundle looks really strong. I think re both re like regenerate is a really good ability and. Um, And so is Overwhelm whenever it levels up. It has really good stats. The six point of health is really important. Wish I could Withering Whale. So attack out. You need to do a lease first. No, 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 no. Because the only card that Callista can block. Or like you know, the only card that can block Callista is a lease. Atrocity. Lame. Guess I shouldn't attack, I guess. Maybe just attack with Elise and nothing else. Maybe. Elise gets the three points of damage in.
That match was a lot easier whenever we had Radiant Guardian, which we would have <laughs> at the end there, but not quite. Darn, that was a close one, though. That was a close one. I... I don't know if I could have won that or not. I, may, I probably could have. Who knows? Difficult game. So we're playing against the slow control deck. I guess I just keep my champions. Especially Lux. We want to see Unyielding Spirit, one, but two, they are a... They are a likely Will of Ionia deck, so Unyielding Spirit may not be as good. I don't really know why you would play Mono Freljord when you can play a second region and get removal spells from a second region. I just don't I don't know what the what the incentive there would be to only play to play Mono Freljord with Trundle and Asher Sejuani. It just doesn't doesn't really make any sense. It's just free to play a second region. Wow, still nothing? I was considering not attacking to make them waste their mana, decided to attack, but they... They still had nothing? Expecting, like, Withering Whale or something. You won't suffer long. There's Withering Whale. I don't love the glimpse beyond on on one of those things because I think it's pretty easy for them to fight over those things if they want to with cards like Vile Feast and and similar cards. Maybe I should have used Glimpse Beyond it there. You will be scoured from this land. This does allow me to play. Lux and have Concerted Strike around. So they're at the maximum hand card size now they got 10 I'm a couple short with eight that egg did it move oh, the miracle of love.
Is that going to be my best thing to purify? Is that just the best thing to purify? Could definitely have the 2 2 lifesteal that grows whenever you're enlightened. That would be a better card to purify. So I may want to attack with more than this or attack after if there was like a ruination or something like that. They have to play something. They're at 10 cards. They have so they have to play something. Where there is life, there is hope. And you know, maybe I wanted to Grizzle Ranger attack a couple of times. We'll kind of see what happens. Just gain three. on Vile Feast. That's worth a purify now. Probably not now. Purify would have gotten eight points of damage in before. But I don't think that's worth it now. pass. I mean they could I guess, but I knew and now I am. This is a weird game. Well, again, again, just our opponent's playing at least two, maybe three ruinations. So we don't want to just throw out all this stuff all the time onto the board and then they just ruination and then we're like, oh man, we lost. That's too bad. 
when we have, whenever we have a better board than they do, there's not reasons to play more things. Oh, how am I dealing with a 3-6? Six is annoying. Nice to glimpse beyond this spider, but it's just um, very easy for them to respond and kill my glimpse beyond, and I want my glimpse beyond to, to definitely draw two cards. Not a good card to draw. Probably the worst one in the deck. this Lux. Okay. I'm clear how I'm getting through. I got 22 cards left in my deck. They have 20. Learn from you. We have not drawn either of our two unyielding spirits yet, but again, they likely have some number of Will of Ionias. No that would be able to handle that card. Find enlightenment. Darn. They didn't block like this last time, and I was hoping they weren't, weren't going to block like this again. I don't really like this. Right? I don't. It's not good for me. But I was just hoping they weren't going to do that. good for me.
Definitely not good for me. Cool hamster. Yeah, you're playing Thresh instead of Elise in this kind of deck. Absolutely do that. Absolutely. We have to keep killing karmas. And keep the moose around instead of the lifesteal tough. And keep the attack twice. This would be their second, if this happened, if this able to kill, if we're able to kill Karma here, that's their second Karma that's dead. The only one they have left is that one they just shuffled back, as far as in their deck is concerned. If this is able to happen. Nope. I get some two three twos. Yeah, I guess you can have some three twos. Hey, Cabo, good afternoon. Bite. I obviously needed these spiders. They were going to be, you know, doing some good challenging for me, and they were going to level up Elise. Okay, there's a yielding spirit. That'd be good on a Lux or something. Ooh. Unyielding Spear would be good on that thing. Yeah, this is this is what the this is yeah round seventeen. This is the kind of game that that Karma Thresh deck wants to play. This is what they do. It's a good chance they win by just milling me out. That I don't that like even if like I am able to stabilize with other stuff that I'm not able to. Come, stay um, alive. win before 
15 cards. Of course, I want to draw Lux or Rekindler. That's what I want to draw to go along with that Unyielding Spirit. Yeah, I think they play Will of Ionia. I, I don't know why they wouldn't have Will of Ionia. The good news is you can only have 10 cards in hand, so they're close to the max. Is that good news? Heals these things over the 3 2. Show them what we're made of. Still gonna take a minute. Steady hand, unwavering heart. There's nothing to fear. At least it's pretty unlikely that they're casting ruination anymore. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know how we win. I don't know. I wouldn't mind putting Unyielding Spirit on the Great Horn Companion. Where it can attack twice a turn. But I just want to see if this works out, because if this works out, this is pretty good for us. Okay. So they're out of Emerald Awakeners. They have one one thresh, one karma left in their deck. Should have two rekind you know they may have two rekindlers. Well now now just one more rekindler. That's their second. Yeah, spooky karma is the slowest deck in in the whole game. It's slower than in any than any other deck, for sure. Like War Mother's yeah, War Mother's 
does kill you pretty quickly. Karma doesn't kill you quickly at all. Not, not a surprise. Their win condition is karma. Just all the value they're getting from karma. Like they're just they're just grinding us down, and they have nine cards still in hand while I, I have two. Like, this is what their deck does. You have been witnessing their win condition with the karma. No, there's no burn spells, no. It just... They just get rid of every single one of your cards. Basically my last hurrah. Okay. That would somehow resolve and somehow they don't have Will of Ionia. Somehow they don't have a whole bunch of stun stuff. I don't know. Okay, so there's our spider Lux deck. Um you know, I don't expect to run into Spooky Karma very often. It Spooky Karma is, you know, pretty good against us because it can go bigger than us, but it's not good against most most any deck. Um, so don't don't really have to worry about the Spooky Karma matchup because that's that's one you'll see, you know, one out of a hundred times probably. Yeah, like that's probably about all you ever play against that deck. Um, the the other, you know, like the other they who enter game i could have maybe won with that made a slight mistake that helped that cost us that one and so maybe maybe could have been a four one but still strong it looked good and uh the first especially the first three games i mean really the first four games all of them they it looked real good and we we um fought off some really good starts from like they who endure and stuff like that um so pretty impressed with a little spider lux and yeah brood awakening continues to impress with this deck it just does does a lot of little things than liking that card all right so spider lux another good deck for rank up sunday here called that one a success for sure those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well i would appreciate that but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video